Today's tip, we're going to talk about volume select. What volume select allows you to do is do just that. Pick a volume of piece of information, and whether it be for isolation, for hiding, for suppressing, or just getting a whole bunch of stuff out of the way real quick. It's a great tool. It's uh, probably not a tool you use all the time if you're not working on very large assemblies, but it comes in handy even on 15, 20 part assemblies like this flashlight thing here we got on the screen. It's got quite a few parts to it. We'll take a look here. We've got uh, 17 parts. So we'll see it on a pretty small scale here. 14 unique parts, but just moving around getting things done. This is a volume select tool. I use my super S key and we got our arrows here. You can also add, this is also available in the customized toolbar and you can drag and drop it. I usually have it up here on the top. You can drop it down here and we've got a volume select option. Comes up and what it allows us to do is if we select from left to right, whatever is fully encompassed in this box, and in a second we'll learn how to manipulate it, but this volume that's being created, whatever is fully encompassed will be selected. I can grab these arrows and I can pull it out as you can see as I as I pull it out, more parts will be selectable. We got this side pretty bare. And we can see we can we've picked pretty much all of the head. Okay. Now at this point I could right click and choose hide or isolate or suppress or anything else that I may need to do to make, make everything there in virtu virtual if you're using SOLIDWORKS 2010. If I would you just choose hide. You can see it gets rid of everything in there, and I can work with whatever reason I was getting rid of all those. Now, getting them back is very simple. We have a, a more with the S key is hiding or selecting all everything that's hidden or selecting everything that's suppressed and then bringing them back. And we can see here we can say select hidden. And it, what it does is goes through the tree, and it's not just what got hidden with the volume select, but anything is hidden for whatever reason. It'll go through all of the subdirectories as many levels deep as it needs to go and select them. And then you can simply right click show and everything comes back. Undo that real quick. Another thing we could do if we just wanted a couple of those parts, maybe the volume select picked too much. We can come up to the assembly toolbar. Let me get larger buttons going on here and on our assembly toolbar. We can choose our show hidden components. It'll hide everything that is already shown and show the hidden stuff. And maybe I want the button back. Maybe I didn't mean to get that in there. And maybe the ring for some dimensions from end to end. And I can exit show hidden. And those parts that I selected plus the parts that were already shown all are back. And I'll bring back all of the hidden parts. Volume select, as you saw when I when I chose it, I just selected out here in space. And the left to right, anything that is fully encompassed, will get selected. But I'll escape out of here and I'll pick volume select. And if I go from right to left, anything that is fully encompassed or touching anywhere inside the box will be selected. So in this case, most everything is already selected. So we don't have this guy here. If I pull it just a little, just so it's barely touching it, it's getting some of the inside part. It's there. If I right click, hide, everything but looks like two parts are gone. At the same time as I'm using hide, we can also, of course, use suppress or anything else that you may want to want to use. If we don't want it so sloppy as we see, as we've demonstrated a couple times, just dragging it here in this 3D box in space, I'm not quite sure where it's starting or stopping. We have another way of doing this. We can pick a planar face. Let's see here, I'll pick right here. Maybe I want to pick everything from here on up. We can pick that face and then pick the volume select. And it will go normal to that. It'll go from left to right and now we can see we can pick from there up and it's starting from 
that face that we selected. And it may be, there's also one other option here we have in new to 2008, I believe it is, is the invert option. I may want everything on that side or the other side, and possibly selection was difficult or I want 99% of something on one side or the other. We can always pick what we don't, what we actually do want to keep. And I can right click and invert selection. It picks everything but what I had selected before. And then now I choose the hide. It's basically going to keep the head. I can get everything there. So the tool is very versatile. Again, it's the letter S by default. And we can see here volume select and then select suppress, select hidden as we've seen a couple times already, and show. And it uh, just makes life much, much easier when working on even like this, like I said, 17 part assembly versus 1700 part assembly grabbing some stuff, getting what you want, do the work, and with the select hide hidden or select suppress, bring it right on back.